goes and flip flop here he goes and and these students start doing this, and I bet people will follow. They're going to learn that it's going to be easier developing a Mac than it is for the PC. <laughs> people also developing iPhone games. And developing for the iPhone and iPod Touch ain't too far off from developing for your Mac desktop. At least that's what I hear. And this is going to create a huge, nice, long pipeline ecosystem of creating and developing for the Mac. And it's just uh, 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 it's okay. wonderful. Even Steve Ballmer come out and praised Apple for its App Store innovation, for creating a new marketplace for people to, to dive into. Steve Ballmer actually said something good about Apple instead of laughing at it. Now this, this is subtle, and a lot of people might not see much of this, but I'm telling you, this, there's something to this. Um, I'm thinking Microsoft and Apple are aligned here lately more than they ever have in the past 10 years. Past 15 years, past 10 years, they, this is the closest I think that they've ever been. I do think they're having talks. Of course, it's not made public. It's only complete speculation. Uh, okay. I have a term for y'all to Google. Google Applesoft. Just do it. It's more than 10 years old. It's a late 70s thing, but just Google Applesoft. Y you should find what you're looking for. I may cover it in more detail at some future point if I ever get inclined to do a um, video about the true history of the GUI and who really stole from who and who really, you know, created the big bad windows and enabled it to basically destroy the early Mac, but <laughs> that's a topic for another time. <laughs> But once upon a time, Apple and Microsoft used to work very, very closely together. And Amy keeps saying he doesn't want Apple to rule the world, but then he starts talking about things like this, like, well, it'd be okay if everyone united under, a under Apple. As long as it's under Apple, it's okay. Yeah. Right. Rumors don't pop up out of nowhere. Most of the time they're false, but they do have a base in some kind of truth. And when rumors start floating around about Apple tablets or rumors or prevalent rumors start floating around about Apple having talks with Microsoft about switching to Bing for its default search engine, that's huge. If Microsoft switched to the iPhone or iPhone picked up Bing as its default search engine, it wouldn't be as much about money as it would be mind share and taking a stand. Because, you know, Google just gets about, or maybe it's Apple. Apple just gets about a hundred million for using Google as their default search, about a hundred million a year, which is big money. But it's but it, it, it's it's pickings compared to what Apple is, makes yearly, okay? And um, yeah, I've I never really understood why the Mac has to work out some search in the first place. Microsoft. I would love to see Bing become the default search engine. I I don't like Microsoft. I don't, but I'll give them credit where credit is due. If they reach out to us and give us credit where credit is due, like, like Ballmer has, if he's willing to change his attitude and admit that Apple can help them, then I'm all for helping them, okay? Get their ass straight, turn them around, let's get it, let's, let's see what they can do. Maybe we can turn Microsoft into a different company with Apple's help. Look what happened to the gaming industry, look what's happened to the music industry when Apple gets involved. When Apple gets involved, things change, okay? And Apple and Microsoft are I should say something about that, but that's a whole other four videos. Google. Now, Bing being a search engine, people say, well, I don't like Bing as good. Well, that's, that's fine. Go to the web page, Google's homepage, and search Google. But Bing being the default search on the iPhone or iPod would be huge because that's just what people, most people would use when they get it. Most people ain't tech savvy and they just use what they get. And um, it would be a big step for both for Microsoft forward while it would take, I think, a big step for Google backwards. And um, I'm not saying they're going to do this because them, something like that is really real fighting words. You know, if, if Apple pulled Google from its iPhone as default search, them's fighting words there. So I don't think anybody wants to go that drastic yet. Uh, I, I think everybody's sitting back there on the edge of their seat and they're wondering how this Steam deal is going to work out, okay? And if it works out, which I think it will, if it works out, I see huge things happening with the Mac. I even see gaming switching platforms. The Mac is... I, I don't see that. I, I see...
people who are keeping Windows around solely to game, if the game they play is on a Mac, they'll now have, you know, they'll, they'll use Boot Camp less. Or they'll use their virtual machine less. I don't see this making anybody switch from Windows to a Mac or from Linux to a Mac. Uh, I, I don't. I see this helping the gaming industry. I don't see this exactly helping Apple's market share grow. If anybody has a contouring view on that, let me know. It's like, let me know if you think, oh, yeah, I'm finally going to buy a Mac because it has games. Uh, I haven't been buying a Mac for the last decade because it, it, it didn't have this one game I wanted. It's, you know, the, the people who haven't switched for that reason, there's plenty of other things the Mac doesn't do. They'll just find the new, this is the one thing it doesn't do, therefore I'm not interested. <laughs> popular people locked on Macs. They love to play and use their Macs. And I own a PC, and there's a PC in the house, but I'm not interested in going to join Steam on my PC. Not only do I not feel secure, I just, it's just clunky. But now when Steam comes to the Mac, you dang right I'll be a, 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 a average user, a common user. Um, I will be back regularly, a regular user. And I encourage all my Mac followers, all my Mac fans, when Steam becomes available, to go out, buy games, join Steam, whatever you do to, to, to do this, and support this decision. Did he just say buy Steam? Emic, Steam is free. All Steam is, is basically a verification service to verify you're using... That the game is and the key is legal, and in exchange for that, they let they tie it to the user and let you go wherever. And support this move to the Mac platform because gaming. We need to make people realize that gaming on the Mac is so much better than gaming on the PC. Because not only can you develop for the Mac, but you've got the whole iPod Apple ecosystem behind you that you can develop for also. Um, and now you got a direct app store for your apps for the iPhone, and now we have Steam, which is a direct store almost for the game. Uh, okay. Am I crazy? Or, I really wanted to get through it to this last part, but I'm not going to. Am I crazy? Are, are all the developers that, you know, go with Steam, which for all intents and purposes is basically Valsoft and a handful of other games. I mean, this is Valve games. This isn't. Uh, this isn't all the games. <laughs> I forget the others, but there's some others that are on there too. But these are games we're never. The only way these games are going to wind up on things like the iPhone is if stuff like. Oh crap, I can't remember it right now. That cloud-based um, gaming thing. I, I, when I remember it, I'll put it in a little blurb thing up here. But when stuff like that catches on and the games are all cloud-based, then I see stuff like that winding up on things like an iPod Touch and the iPhone because it won't matter that the hardware isn't capable of running them. Uh, that, that thing uses, I think, less power than is in this remote control for crying out loud. So it's it would matter. I'm regrettably up on time, so I'm going to have to waste one more part on this. Thank you, YouTube, for the time limit. It's so encouraging. Peace out, all. Peace. This is.